attending the what is now the 13th uh, Cooperation Council between Kings uh, of the Trade. Of course, the uh, the progress in negotiation of their uh, of their relations. Um, of course, also the democratic principles, um, rule of the the role of the institutions, political pluralism. Allow me to thank the Center for European Policy Studies for organizing this event. After the October parliamentary elections in Georgia, there has been a renewed interest on the part as regards Georgia's further development, path and particular plans domestically as well as internationally. Upon the recent parliamentary elections. The elections were truly a watershed event, whereby for the first time in Georgia's history, and first of all, due to the declared will of the Georgian people, as well as significant support from the recommendations of authoritative international organizations while preparing for the presidential election. this process, the working group has been created during the government handover to the issues related to the sovereignty and security <coughs> of the state. The new government to ensure the continuity of Georgia's European and Euro-Atlantic integration process into European and Euro-Atlantic institutions. As a reliable partner and a fuse with our partners in Europe, as well as our strategic partner, such a union, who were monitoring the pre-election period as well as elections themselves. Well, I hope that, can everyone hear me like this? Yeah. Yes. Um, the Georgian Green Coalition, led by Mr. Bidina Ivanishvili, assumed power in the process of political cohabitation. According to the principle of cohabitation, we are committed to obtaining the imperative objective of the cohabitation process and policy, predetermined by the shared values, common interests, <coughs> and aspirations. Support for Georgia's sovereignty and territorial <coughs> within its international <coughs> Thank you very much. Uh